Alright, so I'm doing a challenge trying to platinum every single game inside of the Ubisoft Plus game catalog on PlayStation. And if I can't do it before we hit 690,000 subscribers on YouTube, then I have to tattoo the platinum logo somewhere on my body. So make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Bruh. Anyways, to pick the game today, I spun a wheel. And if you want to see all my future games, then go follow me on Twitter. He's spinning the wheel. What's it gonna be today? I think they just died. Please say on that. Oh, let's go. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, so the game of choice was Far Cry Primal. Now, this is, in my opinion, one of the worst Far Cry games ever made, but apparently people liked it, so I guess I'm the weird one now. The game has 51 total trophies in it for the Platinum, and it's actually not a very long game at all, which is just great. And the first trophy you get is right after your hunting party kills a baby mammoth, and then also gets abused by a saber-toothed tiger. I then got to watch as my homie bled out, but hey, a trophy. After we made it back to the homeland, I ended up getting to tame my first animal which is probably the only cool feature in this game but to start with they made me tame a simple wolf man's best friend and all that shit. but then i got an objective of sending him over to kill enemies and i just watched on like a proud father godspeed oh and that also gives you the next trophy i then went around doing like one more useless starter mission before having enough items to build the first hut in the settlement we are in and after i did that i got a trophy later on i will also have to build the entire settlement for another trophy which i just can't wait for my first mission after that sent me to the first real udam camp in the game udam by the way are the enemies at the start of this game i don't know why they named themselves that but we end up fighting like the damn avatar people later on also but to start off with, they aren't that bad. And I had the objective of destroying bone trees or some crap. And every time I destroyed one, more and more people just showed right on up to the party. Overall, it was an adrenaline-inducing experience, and I would do it again. Even better, it gave me a trophy after I captured the place. And we also watched on as the last remaining baddie of the Ice Age had a breakdown. I guess women really are predictable in all ages. Anyways, a bit later on, I was heading to another mission in the world, and I ran into a super rare Black Panther. So me, being the highly intelligent being I am, just threw down some bait and coerced it into submission real fast, which gave me a trophy for taming a rare animal. Easy. And like five minutes later, I made it to my objective, which was to hunt and kill a bear. But with the help of my new Black Panther beast friend, it made killing the bear a feat that shouldn't be deserving of a trophy. However, it was, so there it is. After that mission ended, I was also right next to an outpost, so I said to hell with it, let's just run in, guns blazing, and take it over, which is exactly what I did. And after I barely made it out alive with my bow and arrow in hand, I received a trophy for capturing my first outpost. The next trophy giving mission I played then had us inside of a mine, trying to gather whatever this made up creation is. But the enemies also didn't really put up much of a fight down here and I almost felt bad. But then I remembered that I don't at all, so here's the trophy for destroying them all and taking what I want. A little bit later I also discovered 15 hidden map locations in the game, which is probably the most unmissable trophy you could ever have in an open world game like this, but whatever. I then ended up quote unquote saving this crazy ass survival guy from a few animals attacking him but if we are being honest i i think he had it under control like just look at the guy that's what i'm saying and he also gave us a trophy i then went like an hour or so with no trophy giving missions and i was starting to get a little bit sad so to continue on with my sorrow i did one of the worst trophies in this game that caught my eye while reviewing the list it is called tears of shame and it requires you to kill a tamed beast and then also skin it so i literally had to murder my homie right here and then watch him bleed out and suffer and then also skin him. I actually feel a bit sick right now. Anyways, next trophy I got was while I was just capturing an outpost because I ran out of main story missions to do at the moment. But it was gotten from just simply eliminating 50 enemies using my tame beast. What a dog for real. I then got another random cumulative trophy after for just crafting 100 total items in the game, which is super easy. But then we finally got to replay the hunting mission that ended our entire previous lineage from the intro. The goal was to kill a mammoth, and boy oh boy is that quite the chance challenge. But we went with the direct approach this time, opposed to sneaking around and then getting slammed like previously. Once I shot it right in the head though, the dude dropped and the trophy popped. Easy dubs if I do say so myself. So at this point in the story, I finally made it to the blue people or avatar people's bases and we are now fighting them pretty much. And just to kick off this tribal war between the Izzyl people as they call themselves, the objective was to burn their entire camp down. Now I didn't even kill half of them while doing this, so they really did get to just watch as their home burned down right in front of them. Psychological warfare is a real thing and this trophy is also. I then got the boss battle one of their leaders named Roshani who actually put up an insanely good fight on 
unlike all of his fellow blue people. But once I bested him and had the guy at knife point, his willpower slowly began to crumble right before us, and in order to save his butt, we ended up taking him back to camp for future fun. So yeah, there's the trophy for that. And right after that mission, I then had a little bit more of a slower mission with the objective of just stealing some seeds from the blue people. But while doing this, I actually got two combat trophies back to back. First for eliminating 100 enemies with the bow, and then for healing my tame beast 25 times because that poor dude always goes headfirst into the spears. Oh, and a few minutes later after on a separate mission, I got 25 takedowns finally for another combat trophy. Anyways, I did end up getting captured and thrown into a prison down at some enemy cave, but these idiots left me all the supplies I needed to escape, so they were basically asking for it to happen. And after I got all of my stuff back, I pretty much just ran out of the cave, and after daylight struck my face, I got another trophy pop. Next mission, I then returned to the caves to boss fight one of the original enemies leaders named Ool, which I am assuming is just the sound his mom made when giving birth to him. But the fight was actually very hard, and normal weapons do almost zero damage. But before beating him, I got a trophy on some random other enemy for eliminating 100 total with the club. And I actually got another trophy right after for eliminating 50 enemies with fire. So back to the Ool boss fight now, the main way you do damage, or really the only way, is by shooting the ice spikes in the ceiling and watching them drop right onto his head. I don't know how much testosterone this guy has, but goddamn, he still barely took damage from that. Also, once we got him defeated, he ended up trying to make a final stand threatening to take the baby with him, but he chickened out, so that's kind of lame. And yeah, there's the trophy for beating him, of course, which is one of the last trophies for the story. And before the next main mission in the story, I ended up taming seven beasts total out in the wilderness, which was a trophy. And then I made it into the next main story mission, which had us sneaking into some enemy cave and stealing the Mask of Krati, which is some sacred BS these dumb tribe people believe in. But after I grabbed it, pretty much everything went to hell, and then I had to escape, of course. Which, once escaping, popped me a trophy for doing just that. I then reach the final real mission in the story, or at least the final one that pops you a trophy for it directly. And it pretty much just consisted of us storming into a huge enemy camp. But the real challenge was at the ending with the boss fight against Batari. This is because the damn lady is like Jesus reincarnated and barely takes damage while at the same time knocking off three quarters of my health with a single hit. So overall it just took a while to be here, but thankfully her death wasn't peaceful and she got pretty much strangled by my beast, so I thought that was kind of funny. And yeah, the tribe people then threw a little party and stuff with a trophy pop coming after all those glorious cutscenes. So now it's pretty much cleanup time for this platinum trophy. Most of the objectives are simple like capturing all of the outposts, getting all the skill points, which sucks by the way, and also a few taming trophies scattered in. But the first trophy I received during this time was for eliminating 100 enemies with the spear, which is one of the funniest weapons I've ever used in a game because it just ragdolls people like crazy. I then did my first major taming quest in the game. There's like three or four of these I think, but they all contain the highest of highest animals to either tame or kill. First being the Blood Tusk Mammoth, and I'm not gonna lie, I did die fighting it because I ran out of stuff and doing damage is insanely hard. Thankfully though, its HP doesn't regenerate even if you die, so I managed to come back to life and finish him off giving me the trophy. I was then passively going for a trophy gotten from eliminating 10 enemies with the Sling, which is basically just a bunch of rocks with a rope. And yeah, it's honestly kind of hard to kill people with it, but I did get the trophy right here. I then did the Blood Fang Sabertooth Tame Quest right after, which had us first fight the thing, and then we tracked it back to its den to finish it off. But right as it was dying, we tamed it because it's literally the strongest animal in the game, and also got a trophy for that quest completion. I then did the exact same thing, but with the giant scare bear, and also the snowblood wolf. So after those trophies both popped, that was it for all of the taming specific trophies. A sad, sad day. So now I went around just doing random trophies again. First being for eliminating 25 enemies with a beast while riding it. I then captured 10 outposts and right after had enough stuff to build all the hut upgrades in the game. I was then back out in the wild and finally did a trophy requiring you to poison 25 enemies with the poison shards in the game. Overall, it's not that hard, but crafting these over and over is extremely annoying to do. And actually that wasn't even bad compared to the next combat trophy I got from eliminating enemies with bees. Yes, you can literally craft beehives and throw them at people. Honestly though, that's a crazy tactic, gotta give some respect, however the trophy pissed me off a bit. Anyways, as I was getting all those combat trophies, I was also doing them inside of outposts, which is why a few minutes later I captured every single one in the game for that trophy, finally. I then got one of my last combat trophies from getting 15 kills with basic shards in the game. By the way, if you don't headshot enemies with these things, you pretty much do zero damage, it's great. 
great. My next two trophies were then both distance kill challenges that I expected to be super hard to get. However, I must have woke up on the right side of the bed because I did them both first try. First for getting a spear throw kill from 50 meters or more, and then immediately after I got the bow and arrow kill from over 70 meters away. God, I'm so good. Next up, I killed 10 enemies with traps, which is low-key funny because they just run right on in and get folded. I love those ragdoll mechanics, I can't lie. I also farmed 15 kills with the owl, which is easy because you literally can't not kill an enemy when using the owl kill feature. So the remaining trophies now are basically all just from doing these orange side quest activities. But more trying to just get skill points because you need an insane amount of them to get every skill in the game, and I'm not even halfway. But I ended up doing the first 15 of those orange side quests right here, which are just so much fun. That's a Joke, these mostly suck. In about 20 minutes or so later, I ended up finishing five of the beast version owner side quests. These are labeled with a paw print, and you have to solely kill animals opposed to normal enemies. So actually, kind of fun this time. And an hour later, I finally finished 10 tribal clash orange side quests. These are the last variant of side quest in the game, and they contain a bit different of objectives than the basic ones, but they are honestly pretty similar, so it's kind of weird. Anyways, there's the trophy. I then had three more trophies left to get that are honestly all just random crap. First, from getting 80 collectibles total, which isn't bad at all since there's like 180 in the game. And then I got another one from finding a very specific cave that was an easter egg for the Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon game, which by the way is on the list to get platinumed in the future. And the final trophy before the skill point grind was done from jumping off of this mountain peak into some water, which is another easter egg or reference to a different game, that being Assassin's Creed of course. So yeah, there's the trophy. Anyways, in order to get this last trophy for unlocking all the skills in the game, it required hours upon hours of grinding to get. In fact, I might have spent more time going for skill points right here than I did playing the main story of the game. Now at the start, since I still had lots of orange side quests left over, it wasn't that bad because most give you skill points as a reward for completion along with XP, but nearing the final 10 skill points or so, there was literally nothing thing and I had to reset all the outposts and forts in the game to get the remaining XP and skill points I needed. In fact, I even reached the goddamn XP cap in this game which I wasn't even aware existed. Like I can't name a single other game that has an XP cap, that's so damn stupid. Anyways, there's the final trophy and the platinum right after. So, Far Cry Primal is indeed a game. Personally, I don't think it feels like a Far Cry game at all, and I low-key hate when games have tribal sh** in them because it just comes off as cringe to me. Mostly because the made-up languages are just straight-up nonsense and it's literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But yeah, that was a platinum trophy inside of this challenge, so there you go.